Well, Indiana's 9th District freshman congressman is a target this year as the Democratic Party tries to take back the seat from Republican Trey Hollingsworth. Good evening here at 530. I'm Rachel Platt. And I'm Lisa Hudson. Doug has the night off. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee is focusing on the contest that recent history might suggest is an uphill battle. Our political editor Chris Williams speaking with both candidates. He joins us with insight into this contest. Chris? Rachel and Lisa, last hour we introduced you to Liz Watson, the native Hoosier and labor attorney who won the Democratic primary. This hour we have more with incumbent Congressman Trey Hollingsworth. His vote totals during the primary surpassed that of the entire Democratic field. Still, the Democratic Party thinks they can steal the seat. We asked him about some of the allegations made against him by the challenger. And for the last 20 years, presidents have talked about being firm with China because of their practices of ripping off American companies, ripping off the American worker, ripping off American manufacturing. And so I stand with the president in standing up to China. Congressman Trey Hollingsworth did not directly answer my question whether he was, quote, for tariffs, really an allegation made by Democratic challenger Liz Watson. The tariffs leveled by President Donald Trump are blamed for creating a trade war that have American farmers worried about losing a chance at making a profit wow. this year. The Republican and Hollingsworth simply said he supported the president. Watson also said this about the man she hopes to unseat. What he's doing is so irresponsible. He voted for a tax law that created a $1.5 trillion hole in our deficit. That is fiscally irresponsible. Are you a fiscally irresponsible candidate your vote on taxes? Oh, absolutely not. It's an investment in the American people, an investment in Hoosiers. They know how to spend their dollars better than the federal government knows how to spend their dollars. Liz Watson also Wait, criticized Trey Hollingsworth's opposition to the Affordable Care Act known as Obamacare. She returned home to Indiana after her father fell ill. This was the comment she made during our interview. And he had Medicare, and that meant that my mom didn't go bankrupt. She didn't have to worry about losing our house. Um, he had the kind of illness that would bankrupt any family except for maybe Trey Hollingsworth. And it was really important to me uh, that we were able to take care of him when he was sick and that he had that fighting chance at getting better. And I want that for every single family in Indiana. I continue to support Medicare, continue to support Social Security, continue to support our promises to senior citizens. But Liz Watson wants a $30 trillion government takeover of all health care. And how's she going to pay for it? With an $18 trillion tax hike on every hardworking Hoosier across this district, across this state. You can see our story that aired last hour right now on WHAS11.com. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee has labeled other seats, those they think they can turn from red to blue, including Kentucky's 6th District, which has incumbent Republican Andy Barr facing Democrat Amy McGrath. Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.